Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us for another episode on Eye on Hako. My name is Nicole. Hi, everyone. My name is Kenta. And today we will be talking about changing it up. Changing it up. What's changing it up? <laughs> <laughs> We're changing it up with some hand pieces, and right. we will also be introducing a new product. Right. Hand pieces, um, changing it up, it's, uh, what she's talking about is um, new improvements to our desoldering hand pieces the FR410 and the um, FR400. Yeah. And also, like you said, uh, we want to introduce to you guys a new accessory for the uh, Quick Changer. Absolutely. So let's start with the hand piece. But before we get into the hand piece, we have the FR410 here. Yeah. So I think it would only be appropriate to give a little refresher. Yeah, let's do a little recap on the FR410 desoldering station. That's this station right here. So the FR410, it's a, it's a three, uh, sorry, it's a 190 watt desoldering station. Mm -hmm. It uses N61 um, nozzles. I think yeah. there's like uh, 17 different uh, nozzle selections available for the N61 type. Uh, it has standard features like the uh, auto sleep function, mm -hmm. the auto shut off function. You can go ahead and uh, adjust the times for both. Right. It also has uh, Pass. password, lockouts, password lockout. And also has three different preset temperatures that you can set on the uh, on the actual station, which allow for uh, quick and easy um, uh, temperature interchangeability. Okay. And um, then one of the cool features that I really like about this is the visual indicators. Right, the visual indicators. So what are the visual indicators? There's three of them. One of them being this clear solder collection chamber here on the handpiece. Mm -hmm. So as you're as the uh, end users are um, using this to desolder the through hole components, all the solder gets collected into this solder collection chamber. And you can see, actually see the solder being collected here. So once that starts to become filled up, you wanna empty out the collection chamber. Okay. How do you do that? There's a yellow tab on the back of the hand piece. So just that, it releases. You can take out the collection chamber. Okay. And Take the front cap off like so, and dump it out. Empty out the uh, solder, and once it's emptied out, you just put the front cap back in like so. Okay. And put the cartridge back in place, and you're ready to go. Nice. So that is the first visual indicator. The second visual indicator yep. is is on the station. Right. Yep. It's the uh, clear case for the uh, ceramic paper filter here on the, uh, the actual station. What happens to the filter when, when you... When you start to use yes. it? So it, right now the ceramic paper filter is a, uh, a white color, mm -hmm. but as you're using it, on, as you're desoldering the, the uh, through-hole components, the white will start to turn into more of a yellowish color. That is all the flux being collected through the uh, system or okay. the unit. And once it starts to turn yellow, you want to replace it. And can you show them how oh, they work? It's really easy. You just okay. pop the cap off, the paper filter, take it out, put a brand new one back in place. Okay. And put the cap back on. And really easy. So that was the second. That's the second visual indicator. One more indicator. Yep. The third, third. visual indicator is this one right here. It okay. says clogging indicator. So okay. So if I if you if Nicole presses on the trigger of the handpiece, you'll see that the bar shoots to about there. Um, right. There are like three little bars. Yeah. So the clogging indicator is kind of like a uh, representation of how much airflow restriction the tool sees. So I'll press it again. It's seeing minimal uh, airflow restriction, or in this case, um, it amounts to the amount of uh, clogging going on with the handpiece. Okay, so... So, now I will simulate an actual full-on clog. Okay. See that? The bar will shoot all the way across the screen, and then at the very end it says three letters that says CHK. Okay. That, mean, that means uh, check. Please check your uh, tool because uh, the system is clogged and it needs some sort of maintenance required. Got it. So the um, operator can now use these three visual indicators. Um, it gives them an idea of when to perform the maintenance on your desoldering tools um, to keep the desoldering tools, um, like we call it, performing at an optimum level. Nice. Okay. 
So we went over. We went over the main features. The main those, features. Oh, actually, I forgot the temperature range. The temperature range. That would be nice to know. <laughs> the temperature range of the desoldering tool is for the FR410. It's 330 C to 500, uh, 450 C, and for the FR400, it's 350 C to 500 C. Okay. And um, as far as maintenance goes, the stations come with its a very own toolkit. Uh, tool it's this box here. And inside the toolkit, it comes equipped with replacement so, filters. That's one replacement filters for the station. Right. Uh, a couple cleaning pins and a cleaning drill. And that is the replacement filter that will go on the handpiece. Right. And then this. And that is the nozzle wrench, which is used to replace the uh, nozzles on the desoldering tools. Okay. So. So we're going to use the nozzle wrench right now yep. now that we've kind of covered the station so now we will get start to get into the actual quick change um, mechanism on the hand pieces um, now the quick change mechanism is actually uh, already incorporated onto one of our uh, products already it's the fr uh, 300 uh, 301 used to be the 300 um, there's several different parts that have changed out Okay. But we'll show you example with this pencil type handpiece on the FR410. The so. actual portion that changes. Okay, so that's the that's one you're it. holding is the old yep. handpiece, and the one I'm holding up is the new handpiece. Yep. The new one and the old one. Okay. So the, you guys should be seeing a slide of the uh, actual. Um, we put up a visual slide of the actual areas that the, or the parts that have been interchanged. Not interchanged, changed. Changed. <laughs> So, so, using the nozzle wrench, I will go ahead and show how to change the nozzle using the old method. So, you have to unwind like so. And once unwound, you press on the two tabs and it'll release the nozzle. And you would have to put on the new nozzle. And there you go. Okay. That is the old method. All right. Now using the same nozzle wrench, I'll hand that over to Nicole and she can show you how easy the new method is. All right. So all I'm going to do is twist yep. it, squeeze it, Pull it out. take it off. There you go. Put it back on. One more time. Twist. Pull. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> There you go. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> there you go. And if I can do it, you, you can, can do, do it. it. <laughs> and like I said, um, this quick change mechanism is already on our um, FR301 handy type desoldering station. And what happened was um, that got released out into the market and we got a lot of positive feedback about this quick change mechanism. A lot of people liked how simple it was, how easy it was to exchange the nozzles. Yeah. So we took that feedback and we decided to um, incorporate it into our FR410 right. and the FR400 station as well. It's pretty easy. Yeah, very easy. Yeah. And again, it's for the FR410, it's, it's going to come equipped with this quick change mechanism on both the hand pieces of the uh, pencil type and yep, on the gun type hand piece. Okay. Well. Sounds uh, good. What's now next? that we've talked about the handpiece, let's get into our new product. Oh yeah, the new accessory that we have yep, there? Yeah, our new accessory. Yeah. Uh, this one that I have in front of me is the C5046, which is compatible with the FR410 yep. that we have in front of us. Um, and for the FR400, it's going to be the C5045. That's right. So there's two different ones. So that is so this the quick changer. quick change accessory. I'll just go ahead. Chitz is going to come on the other side and demonstrate for you guys. So it has three different slots, as you can see. And if the uh, end user customer has extra nozzles and extra enclosure pipes, they can use this um, quick changer mm -hmm. to uh, quickly exchange the nozzles. So, for example, I have a nozzle right here okay. that I'm using. And say I want to change it out to a different nozzle. Okay. All you have to do is okay. insert. Counterclockwise, pull out, and the nozzle releases. Okay. And put it in, turn it clockwise, and now you have a new nozzle in there. Okay. Again, you Let's can do, do the same time. thing. Insert, turn it counterclockwise, the nozzle will release, 
And then when you put it back, turn it clockwise, okay. and now you have the new nozzle back in there. Nice. Pretty, very easy and very useful to use. User friendly. And uh, these slots, not slots. These uh, are little these tabs. These things, they're magnetic <laughs> so strips that you can use to label the different nozzles um, that you have in the different slots. And it's like a dry erase, so you can use a dry erase marker if you want to label it. Right. And if you, someone wants to change the label, they can just erase it. Erase it and, and put a new label on. Okay. Yep. And the holes at the top of the unit? Are those holes, these are actually nozzles. Okay. So you can use the holes as, kind of, as a uh, nozzle holder. Or... Boom, boom. Maybe as a yeah, you can do tool that holder? too. Keep it as a tool holder for a quick uh, tool accessibility. Okay. Okay. So that's the quick changer, the C5046 for the FR410. Okay. And, and I think uh, we should do a demonstration. Yeah, sure. So Why let's, not? right now, Kenta is going to desolder and then he's going to change out a nozzle. Beep. I'm going to desolder these components here using a, this is, I believe, like a 1.6 millimeter nozzle. Say that again, Kinza. These are like a thicker 1.6 millimeter nozzle. Okay. So I'm going to be desoldering these through-hole components. There you go. And one more. And maybe one more. Okay, so I desoldered these through hole components. Say I'm done working on those through hole components. I need to switch over and work on a different through hole, different board, which mm -hmm. has different through hole components. Uh, these pins right here. Obviously, these pins are much smaller in size than the uh, than the previous pins that I was working on. So I need to change out the nozzle. Again, the way you use this is put it in. Mm -hmm. Turn it counterclockwise, it, it'll release the nozzle, and then go over to the one you want to use, okay. insert, turn it clockwise, and you have a new one in there. But in this case, let's use a different nozzle. Let's get this one in there. Okay. That one in. Again, slide it in, and turn, turn it, it clockwise, okay. and you have the new one back in. And we want to make sure that you know that once you do change the nozzle out that you need to still wait yeah for it to heat up yeah that's a very good point before you go back to desolder because the other nozzles that are in the slots they are not heated up yet okay. to the temperature so once you uh, put the new nozzle in you want to make sure that you wait maybe a couple minutes make sure the no the new nozzle is uh reaching its set temperature okay okay so i'm gonna i change that out i'm gonna put it in the holder for a minute and then we'll have Nicole try the desoldering. So it's my turn to desolder. Should be him. There you go. And one more maybe. All right. Nice. Just like that. Nice, nice, nice. All right. And if I can do it, you, you can, can do, do it. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yes, it is. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I guess we'll see you next time. And until then, keep your, your eye on Hako. Hako.